they really love these patterns here, right? So for example, mousy, um, these are the German words, <laughs> don't mind that. Hey everyone, this is Sertekos, and today I'm bringing you my playthrough and review of Calico, a cat-themed puzzle game you can play solo as well as with up to three players. In Calico, players compete to sue the coziest quilt as they collect and place patches of different colors and patterns. Each quilt has a particular pattern that must be followed, and players are also trying to create color and pattern combinations that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also able to attract the cuddliest cats. Um, this is actually part of a series, so to speak, um, because AEG first published Calico, then Cascadia, and then Verdant. These are all like tile laying games that share some of the similar DNA. They're all different enough to have because I have them all three in my collection, and so far they have stayed in my collection. Um, and I also plan to review and play through all of these games. There is a review of Cascadia already on my channel, also a playthrough. For Calico, I decided to do a combined video, so I will first play through the game today um, and then after that I will review the game just give you my opinion of it I'm planning the same thing for Verdant by the way also for Verdant like relatively soonish I will also publish a playthrough and review video all right so um, before we get started let me just first quickly set up the game Right, and that is already the setup of the game. Um, so what do we see here? Um, don't mind that these cats are a little bit cut off here at the top, but I think that should be fine. These are all the same cats, like for each of these three cat tiles. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have our quilt here that we are now uh, wanting to complete, so to speak, with all these little patches here, right? Um, we have these two patches already, and these are three that are in the market, so to speak, and we can um, take any of these. And there are like a lot of things that we want to um, aim for. The game is done when everything has been filled here. So that is two, four, five, 10, 4, 8, 12, I think 22 rounds. Um, and then we are done with the game and then we will count up all our points. We get points for several things. First of all, we get points for um, these combinations here. So you see like 4A, 2B, that means four of the same. And then again, two of um, another one, but also the same, right? So four blue and two green tiles, for example. And we want to have them all around here like four blue and two green, for example, or four pink and two purple. Um, then we would get seven points. If we can also have like four of one pattern and two of another pattern, then we get 14 points even, right? Then we get the higher number here in the yellow bubble, in the yellow circle. Same thing here, three of the same th and three other of the same, like three same of another one like three of the same, two of another that are the same, and one single one. And um, we get like, as I said, we get like the lower amount of points if we have either the pattern or the color um, with, that, uh, with that objective here, or we get the higher number if we have both. Um, and that already is tough enough as it is, but we're not done yet. We also get points for these cats. These cats, they love, they really love these patterns here, right? So for example, mousy, um, these are the German words, <laughs> don't mind that. Uh, the German name, so Mousy uh, really loves like these leaves here and these uh, these straps. And if we have like five in a row, like this, for example, like that or here or there, right? Um, then in, in one of these patterns, only one of these patterns, then we get 11 points. Then we will just put the cat on that, um, on one of these, uh, one of one of these tiles that a part of that pattern here. Same thing with Moritz and with Felix. The, the, uh, Moritz likes these five and that arrangement. So for example, could be uh, could be here for example, and Felix likes these three with these patterns. Um, we, for ev uh, and then the third thing is if we have three of the same color. So for example, I will put those back in a minute, but if we have like three of the same color here, then we get one of these buttons here in that specific color. For example, like the leaf button here that we can like um, so on, which is then um, the green one here and that. These also give us, I think, three points at the end of the game each. Um, so 
The last thing that um, we can get is these rainbow patches. We can sew on one of these if we have like one button of each of the other six colors on here, which is quite hard to get. Um, and these all give us three points each. So we get points here for, uh, for these uh, patterns. We get points for the cats, whatever they want, and for the buttons. As you saw here, I kind of demonstrated that here. Um, we also um, can use like the tiles that are already here in the outer ring, in the outer layer, right? Uh, we can use the patterns as well as the numbers for our own patterns. And that is, helps a lot. And that is all we get points for at the end. How a turn works is pretty simple. First of all, that is our hand here, so to speak. So we would have them in our hand, so to speak. And we will sew uh, one of these patterns, patches, just anywhere on our board. If When we have done that, for example, like this, then we take one of these patches here, and then we will remove the top right, uh, the one that is on the very right, and slide that one to the very right, and then um, we will just draw two new ones. And that is all we do during a turn. So these turns are pretty snappy, but it is like a lot to think about here. It can be quite prone to analysis paralysis. So I suggest we get started. So um, actually, um, these with the three here, these are the ones that give us the most points, right? Because for three, we get five, right? Here we get for five, we get only nine. Actually, no, these actually give more points per tile, I think. So um, these long ones, we can only put them at the top, bottom, and here and there, right? But um, we are not able to connect those with another. We always need to separate them, right? So I don't quite know how we will do that yet. Um, I think there is another um, another teal one here and, I th and only one green one. So I think I will take the green one later on and put it someplace here and then we can also like combine like three green ones, right? So I think that's something that I will work with. Um, because we also have like two leaves here, so we can kind of combine that. That's a good thing. I think I will start with that. And then we will need to think how we can do all of that. Like Felix, for example, he wants nothing that is here. Um, how about these leaves? That would be mousy. So we could actually also start putting mousy. We, we could also work with that here, with that line, right? And try to get like some leaves in here and stuff. That would also be possible. I think I'd rather do that because then we can start with that line, maybe get these 11 points. That would be really nice. Um, so I think that's what I will do. So let me take this one here. I will put that right here for now. And then I will take that one into my hand. This one will be removed. I will just discard that up here and then we draw two new ones. Oops, now I messed everything up. Give me a second. All right, there we go. So like this. Um, and then I will put that Actually, actually, no, I don't think so, because there's another green one that I want to have, and I can really combine that well here. So I will actually not put that one there. I will put another green one there later on. Um, but let me put this one right here. I think that works, and then I will take this one here. This one will be discarded, um, because then we can work with that, I think. Two. Let me go. Oh, there's another one with leaves. Really good. Okay, so we are getting places. All right, so I will put this one right here because now you can see we have two leaves. Um, I will put another leaf there. Oh, but then I would have four green ones. No, then I will put this one there. Okay, I will take this one for sure, um, but I need this one as well just for here, for these leaves, right? So... What I will do, I will take these leaves, then these will be discarded. Then we push to the right and I will take this next time. I hope nothing too good um, will be revealed here. Okay, I'm not working with purple at the moment, that's fine. Oh, and but we need we need these stripes again, I think. So we, I don't know yet, oh, well, let's, let's see. So um, let me put, actually, I don't know about this one yet. We could also work with it a little bit differently. So what I will do, I will take this this one here. I will not, uh, I don't know. No, I will not put that here. I will actually put it right here and take this one. And now you see we have like, like we have four together, right? But we don't get any more points for that, but we have three here. So we can now take that button here and sew it onto our quilt, which is really cool. All right, so discard this one, put this one to the right, which I will also need. 
Um, and here we go, some flowers and oh, even more stripes. Wow, okay, that is pretty crazy. Okay, let me see. I wanted to put this one here because I do need three of one kind. But then again, we can also take these stripes and we could do with stripes and then I could put the leaves up here because I want that row of leaves for Mousy, right? So I think that's what I will do. Um, so if I put this one here, that would still be fine. And then I will take this one to my hand and discard that one. So I think we are getting places here. Actually, let me not put that here. I would probably put it up here to maybe combine it with another green one later on. Okay, so these two here. Okay, there's that more leaves. That's definitely very helpful. So here, um, for the AAA, we have three green ones. And also, if I put this one here, three stripes like this, right? So now the AAA, we have three stripes or three green. That's fine. For the 2B, um, I would have two leaves. That's fine. So now I need just one another pattern and then we're done with that one. And regarding colors, we have three of one color and then one of one color. And so we need a purple with another pattern or a light blue with another pattern. And then we actually got both like this condition. We got that for colors and patterns, which is great. So um, what I will do, I will take this one here because then we can finish off that mousy row here. Really good. So we're getting places. Um, what you could, what I could have also done is kind of plant in advance for the other cats and for the other things, but I will do that later because I do have a few ideas. Okay, so that worked. Um, and now I cannot put anything here yet because I need a different pattern in either light blue or in purple. Nothing there, so I will wait for that one. We don't, uh, we don't have to rush anything. Um, and what I will do now is I will put more leaves here. Um, let me take color that, let me take yellow here. Like this, I think that works. And I will take this one and discard that one. Okay. I think that works quite well. Oh, 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 I think I want that one <laughs> because then we can put that here. That would be really nice. Okay, so um, let me now continue. Um, so now we need to work on that one here as well. Um, so we need three of the same and another three of the same. So I could put two leaves here, right? And then we would have these three for sure, but we also need to work with colors. And that will be a little bit harder. So what I will do, I will put the green one right here just because we can sew on another button then. Um, let me find another one. There we go. That's another three points. That's not too bad. And then I will take this one, of course, like this. Okay. And you see, and um, that's how the game works. The turns are pretty snappy and quick. It's just that um, it's kind of tough to actually like think of all everything, right? It's, it can be very prone to analysis paralysis. For this game, I've kind of learned not to think too long and hard about it. I mean, it's still a game, right? It's not a math equation, so I think that's fine. So this one I will put here because then we would have, like, let's go to colors first, three of the same, two of the same, and one single one. Perfect. Then patterns, three of the same, two of the same, one single one. So actually get these 11 points here. Also, you see, we have finished these five leaves here in a row. That is exactly what Mousy wants. So we can take Mousy and Mousy will, meow, will just <laughs> um, get onto our quilt. Um, so this one I cannot use anymore for the same thing, right? So I'm not able to do anything for Mousy anymore, right? That's not possible because um, here, everything is already uh, used. So that's not possible. So um, I should have looked at these as well. Can we do anything? Well, these patterns I haven't really gotten yet, right? So we could maybe, Moritz will be kind of tough. Let me see if we could do it with Moritz. Um, actually, no. Yeah, right here. We could try it with Moritz right here to have like all flowers here, right? We could also just take Felix. Felix would be easier. So um, I suggest looking at 
all of these here. Let's see what we can do. What we could actually do is try to get Felix down here because we already have one of these patterns, right? We just need two more. And this can actually be right beside um, what we did for Mousy because these are two different uh, cat types. If I wanted to attract Mousy again, then I would have to like have at least one other um, tile in between those two um, rows here. But um, I actually want to attract Felix, so I think I definitely want to get this one later on. Um, and... Maybe up here we can do another thing with Felix because I think Morris will be a little bit tough, but maybe we can get another Felix down here. Um, so we actually have two colors here already, so only green and blue. So with everything we have here, we can't do anything here at the moment, right? So let's focus on that one down here. We do have a blue one. I don't know if that's gonna help us, but we can work with these pinks maybe. So I will just take this one and just see where that leads us, right? I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm just kind of seeing what we could do. That's another pink one. That could be good, but these are different, all different patterns. This will be kind of tough. I don't know quite know yet how I would do that, but I will, let's put a pink one right here, like that. And then I will take this one, discard that one and continue. Uh, let's just see. So we need another one of these patterns. Oh, we got one right here, the yellow one. Great. And that's a blue one. Um, patterns here. We could work with, but well, I would definitely have to take this one. So this one will be gone. I don't know yet. Let me just put that one right here, like this, and take this one here. I think that it's not too bad. Okay. So let's just continue here. So you see we're already halfway done pretty much. It's not that long. Oh, they had different, uh, I think we cannot um, like get everything here. Like get this um, for four patterns and for colors. I don't think we can do that. Um, I don't think so. Because we, these three would be perfect pretty much, but I think I will take this one. I will take this one, I think. So let me just put that here. You see, we have three in a row um, with that pattern, that's Felix. So we can get Felix onto our quilt here. And then I will take, what did I say? This one here, I think, right? Yeah, I think this one. Let me just try it. I'm not quite sure yet if that will work. Okay, so two more. That's actually another one of those. Um, well. I don't really need those. So up here, we, I want to work with blue and uh, light blue and green, if possible, right? Only if possible. Here, it doesn't really matter what I put there. Um, so let me think. I think I will actually put this one right here. And then I will only work with colors, uh, only with patterns here and not with colors. I think that's what I will do. Take this one, discard that one. Um, because I think that could actually work. So, well, then again, if I put this one there, I would have colors and patterns kind of matched, but I don't know what else is in that bag. I don't quite know that. Um, but I can work a little bit up here. I definitely want to take this one. And how about this one here? No, I think I want to take this one. I want to continue here with colors at least and try to get that done. So I think I will only get like one of these points here. So this will not be a very good game. I, I've, I had better games before, but this will not be one of them. Oh, by the way, these, you see like these will have to have the same patterns or colors. So I will go for patterns here and for colors there. No, that's, but that's not possible. Yeah, that's possible. Colors, patterns. That could work. That could work. So let's try it. Let me put this one right here. And then, ah, well, patterns. I need this pattern, but I also need this color. What will I do? Well, I will take this one now. This one will have to be discarded, but there are so many light blues already discarded. I don't know if that's going to work. And you see, this is where the game becomes quite complicated. 
Um, and then I will put this one right here because you see, we have like uh, at least three pink ones. So we get another button here, um, which is good. And we have like three different panels. So I need one more of these, of these leaves and one more of those, but in blue or green. And so far it doesn't look like that at all, right? So that is pretty bad. Um, so what will I take here? This all, it doesn't really matter what I take. Um, ooh, let me think. Yeah, I only want blues and greens here. So let me just take the green one then, like this. Let's put these there. Uh, come on, there we go. So I could go with patterns here, but I could uh, I could go with uh, colors, but I could also go with patterns now, right? Because well, I could also go with patterns now because I could take this one and this one and that one, that could also work. And here I also go with patterns. No, that, that won't work. I can't go with patterns at bo in both. Um, so I would have to go with colors here. I can't do it any other way. So let me take this one and put it right here, like this, and then take that one. Wait, is that a good idea? I want to go with, no, with colors here. I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to take that one. So now I got it. Okay. This is definitely one of my, uh, of my, um, worst games. I definitely did have better games before. Okay. Actually that doesn't look horrible at the moment. That doesn't look horrible. That's not too bad. I will take this one here and put it right here like this, because then I have three blue ones right here. And then I will take, th let me think, this one, no, not this one. I will take this one here, like this. Okay, I hope I'm doing this right now. I hope I'm not um, missing anything. Okay, because this one um, would be for the pattern here, but I also need it as a color up here. So I will just put it right here, I guess, like this. So I don't want any of these, right? Well, I could take the green one. No, I need light blue ones here now. Two light blue ones. One of them needs to have dots. And this one doesn't matter what's up here. So I can just take anything up there, but I, I'd rather like one of these patterns here to get another Felix down here. So, um, because this one doesn't work for Felix because that's the wrong shape, right? It needs to have this shape. So I will just take anything for up here. Let me just take something with color just because, right? Why not? So let's just hope we get more good tiles, but probably not. Actually, we do get some a few good things. Okay, let me put that one up here just for just for uh, having a splash of color there. And then I will take I want this one here. So let's remove all of those. Come on. There we go. So now I need to decide I need another light blue here. I need two more light blues here. And I got one here, but I also want this pattern right there for Felix. Do I think that I can get another light blue here? I do not know. I have no idea. Um, and, and also I need a light blue with, with dots. So that's going to be kind of hard, but I will try it. Let's just risk it and hope that we can get that. And of these, I don't want or need any of those. So I'll just, I don't know, take the yellow one. Doesn't really matter. Does not matter at, well, at, yeah, okay, that's fine. So let's see what we get here. Uh, okay, so here I have color, so I need a light blue, which I don't have. And here I need dots, which I also don't have. So I'm not getting anything I want but I need to place one now, so I don't know. Um, there isn't anything that I can really finish at the moment, so I'll just put a yellow one here just to make it uh, nice looking in terms of colors. And then 
I don't need any of those. So I'll just take any and just hope that... No, that's it. I can't do anything anymore. Oops. Like this. I can't do anything anymore. Well, that is already it. I could just put one of these there. Um, and it doesn't matter, right? Green? No, I did not finish anything here. That is a shame. That is a really, really bad round. Believe me, I've had much better games. Like, most games are pretty good. This one definitely wasn't. But that's it. So, um, yeah. That is already it. So, uh, let's just count together all our points. And for that, we have that cool scoring sheet here. So, um, that was a really bad game. I really apologize for that horrible um, showcase. <laughs> um, usually, my games are much better. Seriously. You can just uh, check on Board Game Geek. Uh, look at the comments of my played games there. I definitely have many, much better games. But, well, sometimes that's just the way it is. Okay, so first we get points for the goals we reached. This one we reached completely, right? 11. These two we didn't reach. So we only get 11 points, which is horrible. Then we get points for cats. I only got two cats. I got one Felix and one Mousy. So that is 16 points. Uh, let's do it like this. Um, and then for our buttons, we have four buttons. 4 times 3, that is 12 points. So that is 2, 8, 9, 39 points, which is really bad. Um, and that is already how you score the game, really, really easy. In a multiplayer game, you would do pretty much the same, right? You would just see who has the um, most points. Here, you just it's just a score-based game. You just try to beat your own score. So if we take a look at, the, at my other games, we can see here on the plays... So my first game, I had 66 points. Then I had 60. Then I had 67. 51, that was my worst game. And 67. Now I've got 39. That's definitely the lowest low I've had so far. Um, but you see, usually I get like in the 60s. One time I had like in the 50s, right? But usually I get like in the 60s and that is a pretty decent score. That is a horrible one here. But it was not my goal to showcase a really good game. My goal was to kind of show you how the game works, right? Um, of course, I do think a little bit differently when I'm actually on camera, when I'm actually recording, um, recording a game. And now I just drew on myself. That is... Not great, but I can get that off. Um, so I, I, when I'm on camera, I usually try to showcase the game and I don't think as strategically as I would um, if the camera was not rolling. But well, that concludes my playthrough of Calico. But how do I like the game? Well, as usual, let me tell you. Let's start with the theme, because who doesn't love a good cat game? Seriously. The idea of cats being drawn to specifically sewn quilts may be a little far-fetched, right? But it's whimsical. It's fun and it's cute. The components of the game are also great all around. We have a nice thick back here, unfortunately without um, the logo on here, like in Cascadia and Verdant, but still a nice thick back. And we have really durable and thick tokens. And the double layer board, these are amazing, these boards. And um, plus the art is simply fantastic. Um, illustrated by Beth Sobel, my most favorite board game illustrator, as you might know. Seriously, I'd love for her to illustrate my games that I'm planning to publish someday. That would, be, that would be a dream come true. The puzzle in Calico is wonderful. It's easy to grasp, but it's really thinky and extremely tough. This game can seriously hurt your brain, but it's so rewarding when you figure it out and you are able to get just the right combinations all around, which I didn't manage today, but there are times when you can actually do so. But be aware that this is a really crunchy puzzle. If you want something more lightweight, this might not be quite the right game for you. Instead, I would suggest Cascadia to you, which is much lighter, but just as great. Probably even a little bit better. Calico breaks great solo, as you could see, but it can also be played well with other players. However, it is quite prone to analysis paralysis, meaning that people can think a long time about their moves. This can, of course, slow down the game substantially, depending on the players. But it's great in all player constellations. I just prefer it solo. The different cats and goals definitely give you a good variety, but the puzzle mostly stays similar. Um, this game would really benefit from an expansion or two. I have no idea why there isn't one. Seriously, it's a very popular game as far as I know. Also, one thing I need to mention, this game also has a family mode. For the family mode, you play the game exactly the same. Instead, you just turn over these gold tiles, all three of them. And that means you only need to worry about having like three of the same color here and attracting these cats. But you don't have to think about these goals anymore. And that makes the game a lot easier and much, much more accessible for people who don't play as many games as we do. 
All in all, I really enjoyed this game. It has great components, a cute whimsical theme, and nice art style. I like its crunchy puzzle a lot, especially solo. If you enjoyed what you saw here, I highly suggest you give this game a try. And if you want something as puzzly, but a little bit lighter, take a look at Cascadia instead. I do have a playthrough as well as a review on my channel, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. As usual, I'd like to thank all of you for your support. That means the world to me. I especially want to thank my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. The biggest thanks go out to Thakono, who's currently my biggest supporter. I'm so grateful for that. If you would like to support me as well, check out the link to my Patreon in this video's description and take a look at the tiers I've come up with there. But I'm always happy for any kind of support, be it a like, a comment, or even a subscription. That all makes me very happy and also my channel grow. And if you would like to hang out with me and my community on Discord, I would love to welcome you over there. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video or on my Discord server. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.